Hello everybody! Welcome to a Modern Viking Sky Factory 4 tutorial. Well, Sky Factory 4 mod tutorial. Let's see what we got going on. Today we are doing simple storage. Simple storage is pretty much your basic um, starting out storage networking. Uh, you pretty much just to link all your chests together and make it so you don't have to do all the drives and everything to start out your storage with like in applied energetics so a simple storage you will start out with the cable the cable is made with the four slab or the the six slabs and two iron and this configuration here will make eight cables. With those cables, you will go on to make your storage network master. Your storage network master is gonna be your heart of your network. Every network only has one network storage master, and that's to, uh, it's, it's pretty much like your central processing for it. Uh, with that, you've got four blocks of court, storage cables, and a diamond. Your best way to get quartz is to make a, uh, a nether cake, go to the nether, mine 16 quartz, and come back. The nether, the um, quartz tree is a little tedious. Unless you've already started, started your quartz tree, then go on ahead. But to get your magma slime, it just takes a little bit too much effort. I'd say the easiest way to go is go into the go into the nether, get your 16 quartz, and come back. Um, from there, you've got your storage request table that is done with four cables, four blocks of gold, and a crafting table. Uh, from there, your storage request table is kind of like your pop into the the network crafting grid area. It's kind of like your all around access. From there, we have the storage link cable, which is four cables and a uh, chest. With that, the storage link cable will actually link whatever it's attached to into the storage network. So if I have a chest that has all my items in there, you slap on a storage link cable to it and attach that to the rest of the network, that chest is linked into your network. You've got the import cable. So let's say I have like an automatic miner it's mining and I want to import that into my chest inventory you just slap on your import cable there and it'll suck all the inventory straight or sh suck everything up into your inventory or like a mob mob, mob uh, grinding like area or anything like that that's made with four cable and one hopper that gives you four import cables from there you've got the export cable which is gonna be a piston surrounded by the uh, cables again uh, the export cable is pretty good for kind of just pushing inventory into like generators and stuff like that like pushing your wood into your your combustion generators or maybe pushing your pushing your uh, like fuel into like a nuclear reactor or something of that nature from there we've got the processing cable the processing cable is to pretty much do all like basic processing you'll tell it like I want to put in nine gold nuggets into this packager and then I want a gold gold bar out and then it'll do that processing until um, and that's all controlled by your controller but to make the processor it's gonna be the, the four cables the four nuggets and the observer Uh, from there, you've got the controller, which is four processors, obsidian, and uh, lapis blocks. The controller is just like the pretty much the central processing for your processors. It'll it'll be like where where you tell it yes or no. I want this many of this item and everything from there. From that, we've got the simple storage remote, which is just uh, unlimited access to the storage 
as you can see, I have some storage remote here. It's just going to be basic access into what's in there so I can grab stuff out and put stuff back in the storage network without actually having to be at my network. And then from there, you've got the storage remote, which is same features. It's got a limited distance of 64 blocks from the network master, and it has the crafting grid attached to it. All right, from there, let's go take a look and see how this stuff all connects together. So if we're looking at it here, we've got the network master, I've got my controller, and I've got my storage request table. You only have one network master per, like I said earlier, per a uh, network. Uh, you can have unlimited storage request tables pretty much, just wherever you want them. That one, see I got one there, got one there, got one there, got one there. As long as it's connected with this cable to the network master, it should give you, it should work for you. Your controller, you're only going to want one of those per a, per a network, just because there's no reason to have more than one controller. All right, from there, let's have a little bit of an example with everything. Uh, let's reset all this. Nah. I want a bunch of gold nuggets. All right, so let's fill up this storage. So right now I have all my items in here. I've got a storage import cable. Attached to it. So right now it's in whitelist mode. So whitelist mode, it'll only let the items in this filter area be extracted out of this. So as you saw, we're extracting the diamonds and then we're putting them into our storage system. So I can blacklist it though, which means everything in here, anything in here won't move out, but all the other items will be pulled through. So we're pulling through all my, my nuggets and everything. That's where the link cables come into, come into play. Your link cables will access that storage chest for the items needed for it. Um, again, it can be whitelist, blacklist, they don't really, that doesn't super matter unless you're wanting to, um, you're not wanting to access certain items like with, let's say your bonsai leaves, you don't want the leaves, you just want to keep those in your chest or whatever. Um, then we've got the export cable, which is good to like export your certain items to said chest. So I want to export my gold nuggets. It's going to start pouring all my nuggets out of here and pushing them into here. But we're going to stop that because I don't want my gold nuggets in there. All right. So next we have our processing cable. Uh, from what I've read, the processing cable is the newest kind of part for uh, the simple storage network. And with that, you put in what you're, what you're wanting to put into the machine up here and what you're wanting out over here. Um, from there, you can say like where you want the ingredients. So like if you're doing a, like a crushing factory, like I want my import on the top, my export on the bottom. I can go over here and say I want this from the up and I want this to be down so it'll push the nuggets in top pull the gold bars out from the bottom that's if you know each I or the machine has a specific way it needs to go um, another uh, example of my exporter is I have dark oak wood being exported into my combustion generator to be able to supply power for everything. So you can automate your power there without having to go back and adding more and more stuff into it. Um, from there, I have this set up. It's a gold nugget. I want an ingot. Let's look in my inventory here real quick. I have no ingots. I want to go to the packager and I want to make three ingots. Well, like I said, not the best thing. We made four but that's what it does you can set it to automatically just make all your ingots so it'll just completely run the gold nuggets out 
until you have no more. But it'll make all the ingots it can. All right. So with that, we, we've already gone over the storage remotes. And that pretty much covers the simple storage network. It can be attached to multitude of different things from the... Uh, So like from the filing cabinet to the to the shipping containers, you can you can just attach pretty much anything that has an inventory into it, and then that'll that'll link to your network. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm the Modern Viking, and this is the Simple Storage Network tutorial. If you have any questions, just comment below and we'll try to figure it out together. Y'all have a good time. Hope, hope this helps. Bye.